Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review. And today we're going to take a look at Mrs. Linda the Keen Weathers. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Mrs. Linda the Keen Weathers is a 1974 Chrysler Town & Country station wagon who was the wife of Strip the King Weathers and the aunt of Cal Weathers from Cars 3 and was voiced by Linda Petty who was the wife of the King's voice actor Richard Petty and the mother of Cal Weathers' voice actor Kyle Petty. She was known to be a demolition queen and attended a bowling alley with Luke Pedalwork, the Dynaco Pity. In 2005, she attended the Dynaco 400 at the Motor Speedway of the South. Oh, and she, along with Tex Dynaco, were very proud of the King's partial victory for Team Dynaco, and she stated that the king was a winner to her and called him Daddy Rabbit. And during the and and she attended the tiebreaker race at LA International Speedway okay, and telling the king to be careful out on the track and And stood in the crowd stand, in a crowd with Tex rooting for their ra for their favorite husband and racer. And at the final lap, when the when the king crashed, the, she along with Tex and the crowd were shocked. And when Lightning McQueen and a rookie racer. When a rookie racer named Lightning McQueen hmm, forfeited the Piston Cup and pushed the King across the finish line, she, Tex, and the crowd were amazed and impressed. And at the end of the race, she gave Lightning a kiss and thanked him. During the epilogue, hmm, she, along with the King and Dale and her Jr., entered the Doc Hudson Racing Academy in Radiator Springs, which was announced open by Mater. She then asked Mater if Doc Hud the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet was here. Unfortunately, Mater told her that Doc went out for a drive at Willie's Butte with Lightning McQueen. And in 2006, she, Linda, along with the king, I mean, Mrs. the king and Mrs. the king, raised a nephew named Cal you know, to become a racer. And, and she didn't return, and she didn't return in Cars 3, most most likely because of her voice actress Linda Petty had died in 2014. We could safely assume that she died in 2014 as well. But what do you think? Did Linda the King Weathers had died in 2014 along with her voice actress? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So anyhow, during her diecast releases, she was released a number of times as a single and in a two-pack with her husband, the King. And now, without any further ado, let's get right into the review. Here we've got her friendly facial expression and her grill and headlights in blue and the Chrysler logo, no tampos on the hood, 
just the side view mirrors and the orange indicator lights and the and on the left side we've got the chrome silver rims on the black wall tires and the silver trimming and her doors and her roof and on the top we've got her roof rack and on the back we've got another Chrysler logo no license plate just the tail lights and that is it now let's compare her to, now let's pull up some of the other station wagons we've got Sheriff Woody and Kit Revster and now for some of the other Team Dynaco members we've got Rotor Turbo Sky Tex Dynaco Luke Pedalwork and don't forget the the tires and the tool kit Gray the Gray Hauler Holena Fet Show Dynaco Lightning McQueen Dynaco Chick Hicks Dyn Cruiser Mirrors, aka Dynaco Cruiser Mirrors and some of the and some of the other Weathers family members. We've got Strip the King Weathers, her husband, and their nephew, Cal Weathers from Cars 3. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Weathers family member is your favorite? Which Team Dynaco mem team member is your favorite? And which station wagon is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos, leave any suggestions of which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next, and consider the support by viewing my channel for public watch hours. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!